welcome to Homestead Corner. I'm Jenny, and today I have got a budget haul, everything from Walmart under a dollar that we can get stocked up in our pantries to make sure we have plenty when we can't find what we need. So today I have a small haul from Walmart and I just picked up everything that I could find under a dollar that we can get stuffed into our pantries so we can have as much as we can filled in there. Prices are continuing to rise and I have done these videos before but it is substantially less what you can get for under a dollar now and almost everything that was under a dollar was a store brand so not able to get those name brand items anymore and there's lots of things that we just can't get for under a dollar lots of things are creeping up even if it's five cents here ten cents there it doesn't look like a lot but when you get to that register holy moly ouch so making sure we're stocked up on what we can the best we can to fill in those gaps on the more expensive items beef up meals things like that i think are super important so let's jump in and see what we got so the first thing i grabbed was pasta we can still get these about 98 cents i did find in the last couple of weeks our store has been our local walmart has been clearing out tons of different items so i've been grabbing pasta for 50 and 75 cents a pound but you can still get the great value stuff for 98 cents a pound so that's great you can usually find it under a dollar and i say grab it when you can because some of our other stores are even on sale a dollar 28 a dollar 50 is about the cheapest you can get it so grab it when you can find it under a dollar definitely pasta is going to store for decades when stored properly which is great and then um these little boxes of stuffing of course the name brand ones are way over a dollar closer to two dollars but you can still get these for about 86 cents at walmart the walmart brand and i think it's just as good as like stovetop or anything like that and this makes a super quick easy uh side dish or a topping for a casserole you can do lots of stuff with this so these are great to have in the pantry they have a decent shelf life so they're going to last and just filling in where we can in our pantries and using things that we do like that we can get pretty affordable really helps on the budget and the next thing i grabbed uh, was this little spicy ramen picante chicken noodles these my kids love this stuff and they're definitely not the greatest thing for you but sometimes the seasoning isn't great but you can use these in soups and all kinds of noodley dishes which is great um you can make like lo mein all kinds of stuff with these noodles and just add other ingredients to it and these are really cheap and last really long in the pantry as well let's see here is my receipt and I spent uh, $20.53 was my total for this, for the everything here, and nothing was more than a dollar. I think there was only one or two things that were actually a dollar. And then I grabbed, these are only 58 cents, I believe, at our local store, and just macaroni and cheese. You can add meat to this, you can add all kinds of stuff to this. If you have kids, this is great to have on the shelf. Um, my kids, they love the homemade as well, but this works great in a pinch when you need something quick. Super easy to make too. And then I grabbed these onion soup mixes. These were only like 97 cents, and I think there's three packets, two packets in here. These are great for flavoring your pot roast, any kind of beef anything like that we put it in our beef gravy over potatoes it's just it has really good flavor it's simple and easy and you can add these just in a snap which is great flavor is definitely important spices and seasonings in your pantry are a must when you're eating from the pantry because most of the foods are pretty bland and then the next thing is ketchup you can still get small bottles of ketchup which is great um for under a dollar 
Uh, if you like ketchup, ketchup is a great condiment to have on hand in your pantry, and it does last a good long time, way past the date on the bottle. And then I grabbed a can of tomato sauce. These are around 75 cents, and but you can still get them, which is good. Your diced tomatoes, a whole bunch of tomato products in the smaller cans you can still get, but none of the big... Um, number two and a half cans anymore, the 28 ounce cans. You can't get those for under a dollar here anywhere. If you can get them, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear different price ranges because it really varies across the country and across the world. It's the prices are so different all over the place. <clears throat> I also grabbed tomato paste, another great staple to have in the pantry. Tomato products are wonderful for mixing up meals anytime with your pasta or it's even great on rices and things like that. We add them into all kinds of things. So we love the tomato products. It makes just flavors it up and adds that extra nutrients. And then I also grabbed some green chilies because we like to spice things up a little bit. So those are great and still under a dollar, which is wonderful. So we can slip those in. All right. And I was able to still get tuna fish under a dollar for the Walmart brand. This was the only one under a dollar. And you can get those little thin packets as well from the Great Value brand under a dollar. Those little um, plastic Mylar packages with one serving in it, but this is definitely a better deal because it's going to go further. You get three times as much for about the same price. So we like to grab those. And then they had a variety of vegetables, which was great. I grabbed some beets. Beets are wonderful. And to just have in the pantry any kind of vegetables that you like, grabbing those and getting them in the pantry. They have a couple years on the Best Buy date which is wonderful, so you've got time to eat them, but you've got plenty in your pantry and you don't have to worry about running out anytime soon, which is great, I love that. I also grabbed a, you can get Jello, um, like the gelatin or pudding, some of the puddings, the name, the store brand ones are still under a dollar, but they're really getting close to a buck. And these are great for a little snack, things we don't think about all the time, but you can throw a can of mixed fruit in here. Um, you can make all kinds of stuff. You can make your little gummies with it, all sorts of stuff. So Jello is a great thing to have on the shelf because it is just a nice little thing. It's a little sweet and you can add a little bit of comfort in those times when you don't have extra money for fancy sweets or you can't find anything that you normally eat. These are great to have on hand, and they last for quite a long time past the Best Buy date as well. And then I got the diced tomatoes with green peppers and onions, uh, celery in there. It's kind of like the Rotel, not quite the same, but it's pretty good, it goes great in chili. We add it to all kinds of meals as well. Um, we love diced tomatoes on the shelf. Super simple to add it to everything. Um, some enchilada sauce. This is great in rice. You can make enchiladas. Lots of cheap meals with these uh, enchilada sauce. We love the flavor of it, so we keep that on hand all the time. And then beans. You can still get the store brand beans. Um, most of your Walmart should, you should be able to get them under a dollar. I think they were 74 cents or 78 cents. Um, but beans are wonderful. They add protein and fiber to those meals. And with rice, it's going to give you a complete protein. I like the dried beans as well, but you cannot get them under a dollar anymore. <clears throat> And then I found one other meat and the Vienna sausages. I know a lot of people don't like this. Probably not the best meat for you, but it's got protein in it. And they're open and eat. You can fry these up for breakfast like a regular sausage. Or you can eat them right out of the can, which is great in an emergency. It's nice to be able to get that little extra protein when you can. I think this is the last bit of meat. The meat is extremely limited and super tiny, but this will make about two sandwiches. This is potted meat, and it's basically like a ham spread. If you add a little bit of seasoning and some mayonnaise to this, you got a nice little sandwich. Super simple and easy. Again, you could eat it out of the can, but I think it's better when you mix it up with some seasoning. It adds to it. 
Makes it a little more tasty. <clears throat> uh, the Jiffy Mixes, still under a dollar, which is great. Um, I grabbed the pie one. They have the cornbread muffins and all those. You got to add things to them to really give them some good flavor. But they're a great little base. If you're not making your own mixes, this would be the next best thing, I would say. Because if you make them yourself, you can save a ton of money because the ingredients in there is so much cheaper to buy and put together yourself. And it only takes a few minutes and you can have a big, huge batch and just take out what you need as you need it. <clears throat> and then in the soup section, the only things I could find under a dollar were a chicken noodle soup and they had the like cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, just the store brand ones. But those are wonderful if, again, if you're not making your own because it is so much cheaper to make your own. Uh, if you're buying cans, those are the, you know, they're pretty good and easy. They make it really simple to cook your meals. And the only seasoning I could get for a dollar was a pound of salt. So I grabbed a pound of salt. And you can't have too much salt. There are tons and tons of uses for it. It's really a multi-purpose item and everyone should have a huge bunch of salt. And then I also grabbed a can of peas. Peas are wonderful. And honestly, looking through the vegetables at the protein level, although vegetables don't have high protein, they do have some. And peas are one of the highest protein um, amounts in a canned vegetable. So we like to make sure we have plenty of peas and we're putting them in all different kinds of recipes. We buy frozen, canned, and you know, we grow peas in the summertime, but we usually just, that's our garden snack and we eat them all right out of the garden because they're delicious and they hardly ever make it in the house. <laughs> they're just too good. And then um, green beans, I grabbed a can of those as well. Another great vegetable, really versatile. You can add it to so many things. If you wanna make a quick soup, you can just grab cans and chuck them together and you've got soup. It's really simple and easy to do. Let's see, we're getting down to the bottom here. Um, a yellow mustard, another. You can get a little bit bigger of a bottle, actually, for 98 cents. I think this was around 60 cents. It was really cheap and great to have. We use it in a bunch of different recipes. We don't usually use it on its own, so I normally buy smaller bottles uh, so we can use it like that for recipes. But um, if you eat mustard all the time, you can get a bigger bottle for under a dollar still, which is great. And it's a little bit cheaper that way, but if you're wasting it, that's not cheaper. So I go with a smaller one because that's how we use it. And then a can of corn, because corn, it makes all kinds of rice taste better. You can add it to tons of meals. One of those things you can just kind of stick in almost anything and it gives it that little bit of sweetness if you need it. So, which is great. And last but not least, you should have seeds in your pantry. And you can get seeds for 50 cents. These are just two packets that I found, beets and parsley. They had dill and all kinds of herbs for 50 cents. Um, most of the packets at Walmart are pretty much over a dollar. Dollar Tree, you can get them still for 25 cents, four for a dollar. So grab up those seeds, make sure you have plenty. So when you have to grow food, you're able to grow food. Because if something happens and you can't get it at the grocery store and you're growing it, you're going to be just fine that way. So we make sure we have tons of seeds in our pantry all the time. We have a big collection of seeds and we want to make sure that if we have to grow all our food, we can. And that is it for my haul. I couldn't really get a ton of items. I mean, this is pretty good for 20 bucks, I think. And everything is under a dollar. Um, one dollar or less nothing more than that so we wanted to just see what we can get at this time I did do a video like this last year and I'll link it down below and you can see the difference some of the prices have all of the prices have definitely gone up but you can still get some stuff under a dollar and you want to make sure that pantry's full and one of these items might be something that you forgot or didn't think of so if you have other things in your area that are under a dollar please add them in the comments down below because it could really help someone beef up their pantry at an affordable price so they can have what they need in the house. 
And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.